Attempting to block the path of the French Foreign Minister, Michelle Alion Marie, furious over what she was alleged to have said. This woman was one of dozens of Palestinian protesters who took part, some holding up signs and demanding she leave just moments after arriving. I am the mother of three prisoners. What shall I tell the French Foreign Minister? I believe my duty is to prevent her from entering the Palestinian territory and not to receive her and show solidarity with the prisoners in the Israeli jails as well. The anger was real. What's not clear is just what triggered it. Some of the demonstrators falsely believe the French Foreign Minister had called the abduction of Israeli soldier Gilad Shalit four years ago a war crime. Other reports say she had suggested the soldier receive Red Cross visits. Some people were angry that she had failed to mention the thousands of Palestinians still held in Israeli jails. Either way, they weren't letting the French Foreign Minister forget just how furious they were. The protesters followed her to the Al Quds Hospital, where the demonstration flared up again. This time, eggs and shoes were thrown at her car. Despite the poor welcome, the minister says France is committed to a Palestinian state. Peace can be achieved by guaranteeing Israeli security and its coexistence with its neighboring countries. The peace will pass by announcing Jerusalem as the capital of the two states. Israel refused to allow the previous French foreign minister to enter Gaza. Michelle Alliot Marie made it in, but she may be wishing she hadn't. Nicole Johnston, Al Jazeera, Gaza.